had a very, very special relationship with Jose Mourinho. Um, that we had earlier the interview, yeah. Yeah, and of course, you know, you played under him twice. And of course, we have something that we want to show you and we want to know your thoughts about. So, uh, Michael, a little surprise. Check this out. This is for you. Just finally, we have to say, because Michael Essien is watching this, he's in the studio, and you had some great years with, with Michael, and, and it was sad that his career was cut short by injury. Have you got some funny stories for us, perhaps you can tell us about? He was not my player, he's my son. You know, I'm, I'm his white daddy. Uh, you know, more than, more than stories, feelings. Feelings. And... Um, and that's the feeling. Is more than, is more than than a player for me. And um, he was probably the one that took me to his home, to the real home, um, to the place where he was born, to the street where he was um, playing football as a, as a kid. To meet the mom, to meet the friends, to meet everyone that grew up with him in. In Ghana, he made me f f fall in love with with the country, uh, with uh, with Accra, with the place where he was living, because then I understand better the mentality. I understand better why, as a player, he was ready for everything. He was ready to die for uh, uh, the fellow player, for the club, for the manager. He was ready to play like he did for me in Real Madrid with um, with a knee that was, was not a knee anymore, was a destroyed knee and uh, with that personality, that desire, that, that mentality, suffering, but always suffering, but always with a, with a smile and Michael f smiles a lot with his eyes. I, you know, I loved so so many of my players, but I, I think Michael would be in the podium for sure. Wow. How are you feeling right now? Well, that's kind of emotional, isn't it? <laughs> no, it's, it's very nice. I mean, uh, we, have a, we have a very good uh, relationship and we still talk every now and then. So, I mean, for him to say that about me is, is very special. It is. It is a very hot. I can see you message. smiling through out hold of that, so I can tell the emotion is is right there. And of and course, he's kind of tearing a little <laughs> bit. To be fair, I was I was tearing. I was like, oh my god, this is so sad. And of course, he's your daddy, right? And your son. Don't say that, daddy. Mark. Do not say that. But he, him, telling us a uh, special story about you. Do you have any special stories about Joseph? Yes. Oh uh, well, there's a lot. I love special you know, stories about him. I mean, he's. Uh, Everyone can can see uh, the love uh, he yeah, for the game and the passion and everything. And I remember when uh, one of our games we were playing very bad. You know, the first time we went to the dressing room, he kind of kicked everything and oh, really? yeah, shouting and uh, everyone. And we went back in the second half and everything changes. I mean, but I mean, like playing with Jose Mourinho, you played mm -hmm. under him twice, and. The fact that you guys have such a special bond, the stuff he was saying about you. Why do you think you guys got on so well? Because yeah. there's plenty of players at, at Chelsea <laughs> and you know at Madrid as well. What is it about you two that just clicked? I don't know. I think I think we just clicked. I mean, sometimes you meet someone and you guys kind it of click. Out. And, yeah, Soulmates. it kind of works out. And he he played a big part in uh, from my move from uh, Lyon to to Chelsea. I mean, he was talking to me every day, every single day, and. You know, when the deal went through, I went to I went to to London. He sat me down. He he took he took me through what what he want me to do, the system he want, he's gonna play, and you know what he's expecting from me. And and ever since, and you know, we had uh, we become uh, connected.